Hello guys! In this guide you will see how to use Trends Analytics system to analyze your dataset, notify patterns and outlayers and trends in our data. We have fresh Trends Analytics installation connected to our ThingsBot Community Edition and the Smart Energy use case deployed within it. Let's send something to Trends. We will use our standard credentials. In current case I log in as a tenant administrator. Since this is a fresh installation, we don't have any data yet. We need to trigger automatic topology. Discover it. This process will detect assets, devices, relation fields from the things board. We can see the summary of this process. We can see how many asset entities and device entities were detected, how many of them were analyzed. This process is finished. Let's build our first table of visualization. Select Visualization Type. Right now on the left side of the screen we see all business entities that were discovered. By pressing Topology button we can see the graphic visualization of our solution, of our use case. We have buildings that are related to apartments. Heat meter and energy meters are related to our apartments. By clicking on each node you can see what fields are present within each entity. For apartments we have different properties like area, floor, room number. Devices have different fields but now the most important for us is energy consumption telemetry and the for heat meter is heat consumption. So, let's start with uh, adding a building name in the column section. And now we can see all available buildings. We can see, for example, the energy consumption within a year. So, we change the time range to a year. Then we should select the energy meter and drop energy consumption of telemetry field to our columns. Now you see that we have two columns. First one is building and the second one is the energy consumed by this building. By default the average aggregation type is used. But if we now want to know the yearly consumption of energy we should change the aggregation type to a sum. Now we can see the consumption of energy by each building. We may sort it. Let's deep dive and split this table by month. We just add a date field in the column list and change the field type to month. And now we can see the amount of energy consumption on a monthly basis by each building. Pretty large list. So let's try to make, for our convenience, we can make each month as a separate column. We just need to drag and drop the date field in a dynamic column and energy consumption into a dynamic value column. And voila! We can see for example a startup building was out of energy and start consuming energy since October. Let's focus on three buildings from our list. We need to add a building field in the filter section and select required buildings. Within apartments we have a field that is called state. It identifies whether these apartments are occupied or not. Let me add this field. And now we can see the energy consumption of occupied apartments and empty ones. As you can see, some of empty apartments consumed a lot of energy, which is not good. In the real life, in this case, we should trigger some notifications to define why these empty apartments consume much of energy. Let's continue our investigation. I will drop a room number to our column and now we can see the consumption of energy by each apartment in every building. We can sort to find out who consumed the most. Room number 202 consumed the most. 
and Red reveals empty apartments consume the less. Let's check who is the owner or who occupied the apartments with the highest consumption. And we can see the first name and last name of an owner. Let's save our table. I'll call it top consumers. And save. Now let's continue the analysis by identifying patterns. I will add a new widget heat map. We want to see how heat map it looks like for energy consumption and would like to show the data for the past month. In the morning and in the evening is the highest consumption and weekend consumption is less than while working days. This pattern is built for all buildings and all apartments within scenes board. Let's choose the particular building, for example the centaur. And now we can see the new pattern. I just want to know the yearly consumption and what would be the pattern we will know if make required configuration. I will also switch comparison between day and month. Each cell represents daily energy consumption. We can see that in the winter season the energy consumption was higher than when it was warm outside. Now I'll add the heat consumption. Whenever we add the heat energy consumption telemetry, we have now two patterns. And logically we can see that in winter we had higher heat consumption than within warm month of a year. As you may notice, this pattern is for all apartments. But we can have a view, for example, of a floor at apartment attribute to our y-axis and our x-axis we will switch to a month, not a day. But now we know that the second floor is our top consumer. So what does it mean? Perhaps we should improve our energy efficiency of second floor to avoid energy loss and heat loss and respectively reduce costs on energy and heat consumption. But before that maybe we should see which apartment consumed the most. And voila, we can see that our 202 apartment comparing with the other apartments is on the top of consumption of energy and heat. Let's save this pattern as a consumption heat map. Now I want to share the result of my analysis with my users. So I'll add my visualizations to dashboards within ThinsBoard. In Trends Analytics environment we have this particular button. Switch to the dashboard environment, I already have a dashboard for analysis. Now you should choose the Trends Bundle widget, select Trends View, switch to Advanced tab and paste the URL that you copied recently. As you may notice I disabled titles, but it's optional. Now turn back to Trends and switch to other visualization and do the same to add them to ThinsBoard. Copy link and add new widget from Trends Bundle. So now we can have a dashboard that we can share with customers. This dashboard will help users to have insights on a regular basis. Thank you for watching!